The next module we'll take a look at is Materials Management, or MM. This is a logistics module that many other modules rely on to keep the supply chain functioning. Materials Management ensures that there are always the required materials in stock. The key benefit of Materials Management is the way it can help increase productivity and reduce costs by handling materials efficiently. Four major components of the materials management in SAP are purchasing, inventory management, physical inventory, and material master data. The first major component of the MM module is purchasing. This includes procurement activities like purchase requisitions and purchase orders. Let's take a look at a purchase order in the system. This is a shot of a standard purchase order. We can see the vendor number and the date the order was created at the top. The grid below shows line items of what was ordered from the vendor, the delivery date and the net price. In this case it was one piece, it cost some money and it was delivered on a certain date. Inventory management in the MM module does exactly what it says. It manages the inventory. Examples here include goods receipts and internal transfers, where we move a material from one storage area to another. Let's look at an inventory management transaction in the system. This transaction is called Material Document List. Basically, it shows the movement history of a specific material. In this case, we're looking at the movement of a material. This is all happening at a specific plant number. The column on the left shows the storage locations and each of the line items shows a movement. Closely tied to inventory management, we've got physical inventory. This is where physical inventory is documented and we can run special inventory processes like cycle counts. A cycle count is where a small sample of inventory in one storage location is counted at a specific time. Let's look at physical inventory in the system. So this is a physical inventory document which shows a physical inventory count in one plant at the storage location. This planned count date was on one date and it was executed on the other day. Lastly, we'll take a look at master data in materials management. First are material master records. They include as many fields about a specific material. Next are vendor master records, which have all the physical and financial information pertaining to a vendor. Finally, we've got purchasing information records, which is basically the marriage between material information and vendor information. In this slide, we're going to get to know general business processes regarding procurement. So first off, purchase requisition and approval. Now, in order to calculate quantities of raw materials, planners in planning departments will run material requirement planning. The quantities of raw materials will be converted to purchase requisition automatically or manually. Secondly, source determination, followed by purchase requisition. So buyers decide the most appropriate vendor based on purchase history, info records of vendor and materials, source list, existing contract and scheduling agreement. According to the company's need, buyers can also send inquiries to the different vendors and then buyers are able to compare different quotations. Thirdly, purchase order creation. Now purchase orders can be converted from purchase requisition or created manually. The purchase order adopts information from purchase requisition and quotation. Vendor scheduling agreement and contracts are also supported. Next, purchase order processing. So the purchase order can be printed out or faxed to vendors. Next is the order monitoring. If necessary, the system checks the reminder periods and automatically sends reminders to the buyers at the predefined intervals. The system also provides the up-to-date status of the purchase order. After order monitoring is goods receipt. Warehouse keepers will confirm the receipt of goods by entering the purchase order number and checking if the quantity order is sufficient. And we finish up with invoice verification. Warehouse keepers can check if the purchase order invoice and material document are all consistent. All right, here we're going to learn about inventory management. So inventory management activities can be divided into three categories. There's goods receipt, goods issue and goods transfer. So goods receipt first then. When a receipt from procurement and production, the stock can be managed as unrestricted use, blocked stock, quality inspection stock and special stock. Now the special stock includes consignment, vendor parts and subcontract. Secondly, goods issue is the process of moving goods out of the storage location. 
The detailed processes are staging materials to production line, sales, sample inspection and scrap. Thirdly, warehouse keepers move goods along different storage locations. Goods transfer includes transferring company, transfer among companies and physical inventory variances. Though the consumable material like office supplies and assets are not stored in storage locations, inventory management can also manage these kinds of inventory. In this lecture I will show you how to create a purchase order to get started with purchasing a material. So the warehouse stock of material TR503 must be replenished and we order 300 pieces of material TR503 for plant 1010 from supplier TAV03. We're going to use the SAP Fury app to create purchase order advanced to create that purchase order. So start the create purchase order advanced app in group purchase to pay processing on the SAP Fury launchpad. And in the vendor field, we're going to enter TAV03. And in the material field, TR503. Now in the PO quantity field, enter 300. And the basic information for the purchase order is completed. Now to create that purchase order on the bottom part of the screen you just choose the save button and the system message pops up letting you know that the purchase order has been created successfully. Close the create purchase order browser tab. Now after creating the purchase order the purchaser needs to display it and track the whole purchasing process. Now let's display the purchase order we created just now. So we're going to use the SAP Fury app to manage purchase orders to select all purchase orders for supplier TAV03 and your purchasing group Z03. So start the manage purchase order app via group purchase to pay processing on the SAP Fury launchpad. and enter supplier TAV03 and your purchasing group Z03 as filter values. Purchasing group is the actual purchaser in the company. Now to start that selection choose go. And to display the details of your PO click the purchase order number. And you can see detailed information here for this purchase order. Suppose you're working in the purchase department and you're asked by the sales department to purchase 10 slugs for spiral casing for stock. To get the materials you'll need to create a purchase order that can be forwarded to the vendor. So here I'm going to show you how exactly to do that for a stock material. Alright, from the SAP Easy Access menu choose Logistics. Materials Management, Purchasing, Purchase Order and Create. Choose Vendor slash Supplying Plant Known. And we access the Create Purchase Order screen. Enter Vendor Baltus double zero. If you don't see the details in the header of the purchase order, you can choose Expand Header to expand the header area. Select the Organization Data tab. This should be the system default, so a user selection shouldn't be required here. Now enter material RT100. And purchase order quantity 10. 
The net price is two euros for each piece. And then to plant 1000. Now storage location at triple zero one. Choose enter and choose save. Now we receive a system message that the purchase order was created. So we can choose exit to exit the screen and return to the SAP Easy Access menu.